Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make mokai, which is steamed herb chicken wrapped in banana leaves. You can find this frozen at the Asian grocery store. You'll wanna let it thaw out for about 30 minutes to an hour or even overnight if you have time. Once it's thawed, it comes in a really long sheet and you'll wanna carefully unwrap it, cut it down to size with some kitchen shears, rinse it under cold water, set it on kitchen towels to dry, and also pat dry it. I like to do that just to make sure that it is completely dry. And then the rest of it, I just refreeze until I need to use more. After your banana leaves have been cleaned and dried off, cut off this harder edge, easily cuts off with kitchen shears. This just makes both end of the banana leaves more pliable. Now for the actual mook. I'm gonna show you guys in a separate clip how to put that all together. Add garlic, galangal, and lemongrass. Pound into a fine consistency. This will eventually become a paste, so use a spoon to scrape the bottom up and continue to pound until it is nice and fine. Add the shallots, chilies, and kefir. Add a little bit of salt. Add some water to loosen it up. Season with fish sauce and badak. Once you're finished, this should become a paste-like texture. Go ahead and pour that over the chicken to marinate it. Add the green onion, mix to combine. Next add the dill. Make sure this is all well incorporated. You'll want to let this marinate in the refrigerator for one hour or overnight. Once this is marinated, we're going to go ahead and wrap the mokai. The easiest way for me to wrap this is by using two sheets. So you want to take a larger sheet of your banana leaf, shiny side down. Take a smaller sheet and put it down on the center like that. Take some of your mixture, put it right in the middle, fold up the sides like this, and then gently fold in the corners like this. It is going to start ripping a little bit, so be gentle. Once it looks like a little pouch like this, you want to fold this down and then take a toothpick to secure it. But first, I just realized that I forgot to add the chili pepper in there. So this is optional if you like it spicy. Let's do this again. kind of just want to go with the flow of the banana leaf as well. Don't force anything. Kind of let it rest where it wants to. And then you take a toothpick and secure the top. And again, be gentle about this because you can just rip through the whole thing. Now what you want to do next is get your steamer ready. I like to use this counter steamer just because it's convenient for me. I don't have a family to cook for, so this is like really easy. It just plugs into an outlet and it's great for small dishes like this. It is linked in the description box in all of my videos, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So you're gonna go ahead and lift up the bottom, place the first one inside. You don't want to overcrowd this just so that the steam can rise up. Okay. We're gonna cook this for about 35 to 40 minutes. There is a timer on here, so it'll just go off when it is ready. We have now reached the moment of truth, which is taking one of these out to see if it's cooked through. Ah! Use tongs, it's really, really hot. 
see here. Remove the toothpick, and that is your steamed herb chicken, perfectly cooked through. Mm. You can have this with sticky rice or by itself. It's super healthy and delicious. I hope you guys give this a try. Tag me on Facebook or Instagram if you remake it. I'll see you in my next video.